Right, let's take you back to our content manager here at ENCA, Faith Daniels. She is in the mother city for us as well, uh, ahead of tonight's State of the Nation address. Faith, I believe you are with the uh, official opposition party, the Democratic Alliance. What are they telling you uh, in anticipation for tonight? As right, Masefa, we are with the DA's chief, Wop Sibiwe Kwahube, uh, ahead of the much anticipated uh, State of the Nation address for some, for others, not so much. So now we know that the, the, the official opposition, Sibiwe, had your true State of the Nation address and your event earlier in the week. You had that. So what is the expectation realistically of what the president is going to say tonight? Look, uh, I think that firstly, the, we are in a state of crisis and I think that the mood of the country is that of angst and anger and anxiety really about the future. And I think it's going to be absolutely critical for the president to firstly address the issue of the energy crisis. It is something that, he, that is unavoidable. The president has yet to address the nation on this matter. He is going to have to first, exactly firstly, I think, acknowledge that we are here where we are right now because of the governing parties, poor policies, poor planning and corruption at the state-owned entity of ESCOM. And so here we are right now and he needs to announce exactly what are the key things that can be done tomorrow to alleviate the pressure on ESCOM so that we can be able to see the, the, at the, the pressure um, alleviated in terms of this, this load shedding. So the urgency that you are talking about is uh, the urgency that we have not been seeing, right? Mm -hmm. So how realistic do you think uh, it is to say that while tonight we are going to listen to a president delivering a State of the Nation address and it's realistic for us to really expect him to give us time Time frames and deadlines. Look, I am not hopeful that the president is going to give us any implementable, tangible solutions that have time frames and timelines and deadlines attached to it. The president, in all of his five of his sonas, has has not yet proven to us that he's capable of doing so. And so he's had multiple chances. But of course, for us, we respect the institution, we respect the office of the president. And so we will not be boycotting sona, we will not be disrupting the president from delivering um, his speech. I think South Africans are tired of disruptions. They just just want to see um, public representatives really working hard to represent them. And so I don't have faith that the president is going to have any implementable solutions. But in terms of expectations, I think that he has no choice but to make the key focus of his address today the energy crisis. The businesses are closing down. Um, that means that more and more people are joining the unemployment queues. 30 million South Africans are living in poverty. This has a direct impact on how people live and if he's not able to address that first up then he would have completely failed and missed the moment. You spoke about the uh, the what the public representatives, members of parliament, what your role should also be. Mm -hmm. Do you think that he should actually also speak to that and, 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 and hold you accountable as well? Because look, Look, we can talk about what the president, what cabinet needs to do, but let's be realistic about the members of parliament and your role as well. Mm. Look, I think our role is very clear. I mean, and the constitution is quite clear as to what we are meant to do. We are meant to hold the executive to account. And so where, for instance, as we've just spoken about, there are no timelines, there are no time frames. We need to hold the president and the cabinet accountable. And you know what? we can take the criticism. Parliament has, is, a form, is, is a shadow of its former self. Over the past decade and a half, Parliament as an institution has been hollowed out. Our ability to hold the executive to account is questionable. If you look at what the Zondo Commission um, produced in the report that was produced, there's a series of recommendations. And part of it really emanates from the fact that state capture was allowed to thrive in this country because Parliament, particularly the ANC, that blocked any form of accountability did not do its job and so for us our real main focus this year is to really rebuild parliament not just as an institution in bricks and mortar but also to build it as an institution inside so that it can go back to really holding government to account and doing what the constitution expects of us 
We're talking about the, the, the energy crisis. We're talking about that being the overarching thing that we really want the president to address. But there is a myriad of other issues. How do we get to that? And how is the opposition going to make sure that beyond SONA, these other issues also come to the fore? And that's where I think our role in parliament in particular is very, very important. Um, one of the things that we are wanting to do this year is really pushing some reforms in parliament. How do we make parliament more effective? in its role? How do we make sure that we really demand results from government on behalf of the people of South Africa? There are other things that the president has to um, talk about tonight. He's got to talk about crime, particularly GBV. Um, we've seen mass shootings across the country um, and still we're yet none the wiser about what are the causes of these things. Um, the cost of living crisis, we have repeatedly said um, there are solutions on the table. You can cut the vat on baby food, on chicken. Um, so that to cushion the blow of the cost of living crisis. He's got to now come to the table and say to South Africans, how are we going to protect you from the rising cost of, of living? He's got to also speak to the issue around the electricity tariffs mm -hmm. because that too is unclear because it's unclear as to what exactly is going to happen. He's also going to have to speak to the, to, 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 to the issue of joblessness and unemployment because that continues to be the crisis in South Africa that dogs us continuously and without jobs there's no dignity. So the president the president has an unenviable task tonight. Um, he has, uh, there are great expectations, but I think really he, he's not going to be delivering the sonar in a vacuum. He's had five years and where he's pleaded for people to be patient, I think people have, have really, you know, they've run out of patience and he's run out of rope. And so really it, it will be interesting to see how he, he goes around it. Okay, there we have it from the DA's chief work in Parliament, Sibiwe Kwakube, giving her thoughts to the State of the Nation address and what really we can expect uh, as the president of the country, Cyril Ramaphosa, takes to the podium at 7 p.m.